Hello, today is the 31st of August. Um, we went to Sainsbury's and we spent £40.64p. Um, there wasn't much of a list that I went in with because apart from coffee and sugar, I didn't think we really needed much. So it's quite small this week. Um, while we were there, we've got the Sainsbury's ketchup because it's cheaper than Aldi, so we thought we'd pick it up this week. That was 64 or 68 I might not say the prices on everything because it just takes a lot of time for you. This is um, apple and blackcurrant. Last week we brought two different flavours and this is the only one that got drunk, so I'm just replacing it. Um, this was just a gimmick because it was 29p, Connor loves mustard, horseradish I'm not so sure, but um, it sounded interesting, I think it'll be nice, because I like both anyway, just never buy horseradish because it's expensive, but um, value one is 80p so... It's a bargain if you like both. Um, the gravies, I can't remember how much we've already got. So after checking that they were vegan, uh, which they are, um, we've got a meat one and a chicken one. They were both 67p. Uh, the coffee... I don't know if you picked up the 199 one or the 229, I didn't check, but it's 200 grams anyway. And then we've brought the huge bag of sugar. It only works out about 70p cheaper buying 5 kilos at a time, but we use sugar in coffee, but we also use it for baking. I've not baked cakes because we didn't have a lot of sugar because it keeps going in the coffee so I thought if I buy a big one I can then just top it up with little ones I'll have enough in the house to keep me happy to make cakes 40p for some nice looking carrots because they're not all broken up or anything so that's why they're nice um, these were the £1.15 potatoes a lot of them were quite small but I'm thinking I could get away with just chopping them in half and like roasting them or something like that. The mushrooms, I don't know if it was a nectar points or if it was a personal nectar points, but instead of 89p, we got them for 72p. The lettuce was also cheaper with a nectar card. I think that was 60p for everybody. Or was it? And the cucumber as well, that's on some sort of offer. I think that was 65 This is what I mean, my brain's not working today. Um, the vegetable oil was 185 and we're out of oil in the house, so I knew we needed that. We've got some wrapping foil, 99p. I know it's getting really expensive at one point, but um, 99p for 20 metres isn't too bad to wrap around sandwiches. Because I prefer to use foil, because when you open it up, it works as a little tray on your lap, if you're eating sandwiches outside. The stuffing is just because I keep forgetting to pick up. It was 49p, but it would be nice to go with roast dinners. Because we had a whole chicken last week, no stuffing. <laughs> I always forget the accessories. The tissues, is we don't need them, but it's coming up for runny nose season. That was a pound for 226, so I thought I'd give them a try. This was on a personal offer for Nectar Cards. It was 80p but only the original one because we scanned an apple one and it came off at full price. You have, It had to match the picture that they were showing. 
Atelier Buttery we got for £1.5. Um, this worked out the same per kilo, even though it's smaller blocks than we'd normally get. It works out as £5.55 a kilo. If you buy the bigger one, it's £5.54, so basically the same. But I did think that might be enough for this week. Save a few pennies there. Um, the pork mince, I nearly didn't buy it because last time I got it, literally a couple of weeks ago, £2.35, it's now £2.69. And it's like, why such a big jump? Especially when these, there's a lot of bacon here. These are only a pound for 500 grams. And it says cooking bacon. But you can see, hopefully, if I get it in the right light, you might better see that there are little lines. It's literally just really thin rushes of bacon. They're complete. This one might be better. We picked up two because they looked so good this week. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. But they've got like three weeks. Of, that one will have to be used first. This one's got like three weeks on it. Um, or I might portion it up. I don't know. Because I haven't actually got a meal plan at all this week. Because I've got so many meals in the freezer that I've made. That really need to be um, rotated through. That's the word I should say. One ninety-five for a pack of ham. These I've got hungry enough nabbed one straight away Barry also had one um, plus also I didn't realise but the date is quite short but they were 95p and they're nice the meat's seasoned lovely everything haven't had sugar puffs for years these aren't sugar puffs <laughs> they're the same thing apart from the fact that there is no sugar on them but they're only 60p, so I thought, let's try them to see what they're like. We've got our milk, which we'd run out of, so we've had a cup of coffee while getting all this stuff out. Two milks for Connor. Um, none for Yuki, because Sainsbury's, their soy milk isn't very good price. She's still got like half a bottle, so she's fine for, um, for the rest of the day until she can walk tomorrow and get some. We've picked up the big swish rolls. These are now 125. They were 115 last time I got them. But Tesco's are one pound forty, so it's still better value at Sainsbury's. For Yuki, she's got some plant pioneer bacon down to 122. I couldn't check because I don't take my glasses and I can't read a thing. But it does say freeze so we can freeze it I will split that into two lots for her and then she can have it on like homemade pizzas make it a bit more interesting for her same with the Richmond meat free sausages these are down to 135 I have frozen these before so I know that's fine they had quite a few on the shelf the whole box had been reduced but because we haven't tried this brand before, I don't think, as in bacon bits, I didn't want to buy too many. If I'd known she'd like it, I would have brought like two or three. This was on the shelf for 20p. And Connor used to do like little reviews. So I thought he might like it. It was one pound something before. Um, it's an interesting way. It's actually a drink, it says. But we brought two because that's what was left. It turns out this one doesn't have a ring pull and it has leaked. So that one is either going to go in the bin or he can just put it on the shelf for a little while as a display item. But it's definitely not going to be drunk because I can see product on the outside. But that one I'm going to hopefully get into a review. But that's all we got this week. And I feel that we didn't really need it. 
I know that sounds silly. It'll get used. But I didn't need to buy it this week. I could have waited. Um, but then if you wait, you end up spending your money somewhere else, don't you, sir? I thought I'd spend some of it and keep some behind because my budget's normally 60 and when I've sorted out the freezer and because we've still got things like chickpeas that um the dried ones and dried lentils I need to make something with those so if I don't buy so much like this the evening meal stuff I will have to use my imagination with the lentils but um sorry rabbiting so long uh, that's what we got this week and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.